Today I'm going to explore Sora, OpenAI's new groundbreaking AI that's turning the world of video creation on its head. Let's see just how it's changing the game, but also what it means for the future of content creation. Imagine typing a story and seeing it come to life as a video. That's Sora. This AI wizard is using complex algorithms to understand your text and turn it into a dynamic, visually captivating video up to one minute in length, which is a huge leap on the previous three to four second clips we're used to generating in most other platforms. Yes, in Pika and Runway ML, you could extend a clip, but you'd often see increased morphing, less consistency as the clip went further and further up to a length of around 16 seconds. And admittedly, with the right workflow via Comfy UI, you could use animated diff to create an infinitely long animation. But again, you might still suffer from these inconsistencies. But with Sora, we're seeing an understanding of physics and environments and gravity and materials, um, whether it's realistic or more stylized. And I think that's seriously surprising and impressive. But how does it manage to do this? Let's dive deeper. Sora's brilliance lies in its understanding of the physical world and how these things move within it. It doesn't just stitch images together, it creates the physics, understands the 3D space and ensures movements are as realistic as possible. This is achieved through advanced AI models that have learned from countless videos and images at varying aspect ratios, enabling Sora to predict and generate lifelike scenes. Plus, when a user puts in a short text prompt into Sora, behind the scenes it's actually going to use one of its GPTs, which is used to drive ChatGPT, to expand on that short text prompt, giving Sora better context for the video generation, which can massively improve the output. With its ability to create this immersive content, Sora has the potential to revolutionize multiple industries from filmmaking, education, marketing, and even video games. The applications are really quite vast. It could, and I'm not a fan of this word as it's been thrown around a lot in regard to AI over the past year, but it could democratize content creation, making high quality video production accessible to everyone, which is both very exciting as a creative who wants to tell these great stories, but it does raise questions and more concerns about how this is gonna impact the jobs market and different industries as we see another seismic shift as a result of the arrival of AI. In some of OpenAI's previews of Sora, they've shown how you'll be able to extend clips both backwards or forwards, plus create these cool looping videos that open up tons of ideas for marketing. I can imagine future billboards with these great adverts which run on an infinite loop that may be more captivating for audiences, improving the quality of social media posts um, and just opening up some new creative ideas. Their image to video previews look pretty bloody impressive, which from the previews of Sora, which no doubt are slightly cherry picked, do seem to have less inconsistencies, less morphing, warping and much better understanding of the 3D environment, of the physics and things like that. Despite the shocking advances that Sora seems to have made within video generation compared to the existing rivals from Runway ML, Pika, and stable diffusion with their stable video models. Sora still faces some challenges like incorporating audio and achieving perfect lip syncing. Future versions might include more refined controls such as directing the AI with camera angles or using a control net for characters. The goal to make the AI even more intuitive and versatile for creators. So it's gonna be really interesting once we have access to Sora to see how usable it is now and what other tools they'll be able to bring to market as well, plus how the existing competitors are gonna to try to rally and compete with it, plus what's gonna come down the line from the likes of Midjourney, Adobe, Google, and Meta. The journey of Sora is just beginning, and I don't yet know of anyone outside of OpenAI that has access to it, but we might very well soon find ourselves in a world where we can create a movie just by writing a story. The possibilities are endless, and the quality of these previews is shockingly good, and I can't believe we're potentially here already or in the very near future, whereas I thought we were going to be at least a few years away before seeing such refined output. So it's both exciting and I can't wait to be able to give it a go and try and bring different creative stories and ideas and combine different motion graphics techniques with this AI output. But there are definite ramifications in stock video, marketing, video production, filming, animation, everything. It's it's going to get interesting. I have got another video coming out in a day or two where I've done a deep dive into combining Adobe After Effects with some other AI tools to create some cool animated idents, um, but I'll share that once ready to publish in a day or two. And thanks for watching. This one's been a weird one as I just wanted to share some news about Sora 
and join the countless other YouTubers. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my take on Sora. Please press like and subscribe, share the video and all that. And of course, please leave any comments below letting me know what you think about Sora, what you're looking forward to trying out with it and what impact you think it's going to have on video production, animation and wider industries. Cheers.